Oh, sh**. What time is it? It's time for the Royal Goose. Hi. Hello, welcome, welcome back. back. To answer your question, uh, no, ponies do not breathe rainbow fire. Mm. I mean, that'd be cool if they did, but... I mean, well, there are dragons in the show, and... But they don't breathe rainbow fire, yeah. sadly. I'm sure there's probably one that does. Yeah. So, bro, what's new with you, man? Um, hmm. Got it! This game! What? Awesome! Awesome? Yes! You're having fun? Oh, I am having so much fun. Wow, you're I... having way more fun than you did with Crash Oh so my far. god! If, if I fucking stubbed my toe in the first scene, I'd be having more fun than fucking Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> Dude. Um, I was oh! Not... Oh, did you... Maybe you can, uh... Watching you play Crash, I was alright. Uh-huh. Like, it was kind of entertaining. But I still didn't like it. Mm. Uh, that much. This game is just fantastic. Yeah. I, but again, as I said before, I'm when you free a dragon or step on one of their platforms, you're saving your progress. That could be useful if you run into trouble. Not that you ever run into trouble, Spyro. Oh, what a I, nice guy. I don't know, man. It's just like the art is so great. Yeah, like, this, this is pretty delightful. It is. I fucking love it. I love fantasy shit. Like, and um, I don't know, Crash Bandicoot's kind of fantasy esque, but this is way more. This is like. A fucking dragon and mm -hmm. crazy ass monster. Instead of a giant Dorito shaped <laughs> <Yeah>. bandicoot. <laughs> Sponsored by Taco Bell, Doritos Locos Tacos. Astor. Hello, Astor. After you've freed all the dragons, pass through this fancy vortex uh, thingamajigger. This is definitely It'll the first level. It'll take you back to the artisan home. But first, let me tell you a story. No thanks. See ya! <clears throat> but first, can you please insert my medication into my sphincter? <laughs> I forgot my medication today! My arthritis makes it hard for me to do it myself. But even worse, my erectile dysfunction is keeping me from pleasuring the sheep! <laughs> Grandpa, I thought I told you that's inappropriate. Oh, oh, fuck off, Spyro. That's probably the key to that chest. Oh, maybe. Yeah, let's uh, let's let's go back. Yeah, yeetus. Yeet. Oh, yes. Yeah. No. Oh wow. Oh, he's fucking blue. What? The? Oh. Oh, you mean sparks? Yeah. Yeah, he changes color Whoa. when you when you take damage. So I can't touch water. I knew he changed color, but I don't know he turned blue. Reigniting. <laughs> fuck, this game is sick. Yeah, no, I gotta say, this is definitely... I Maybe part of it's because I've never played mm. these games as much, but yeah, no, this if is If you'd definitely... like to play some, too, we can trade off. Yeah, I'd, I'd be happy to trade off on cool. occasion. You can finish this episode, though. Awesome. I know you're kind of... You're, like, on cloud nine right now, yeah, so I'll let you... Yeah, this is fucking sweet. I'm happy to watch. I Ooh. Yeah, like I said, I really wanted to play this game, so I'm just very glad it's out, and we can play it. And... Yeah, dude. Can you wow. switch to the OG graphics? I don't think you can, but you can switch to the OG music for sure. That'd be really cool. Control sound camera. Let's try that. See, reignited. Original. Yeah, I, I can It has the original it. sound effects too. Isn't that sweet? Okay, if they ever, I, I doubt they'll ever. This is cool. I doubt they'll ever ever do it. But if they ever remade Super Mario sixty four like uh -huh. this, that would be so rad if you could change the music from classic to modern. Yeah, just like that. So, did you ever play uh fucking Halo remastered? Uh oh, the Master Chief Collection. Yes. Uh no, I never. Well, Can I get that? well maybe with I did maybe multiplayer with friends, but. I, I never owned it, so... Okay. No. Uh, because that, you could switch the graphics back and forth. Oh, that's awesome. So, like, the original graphics. We should play Halo. What? I yeah. thought you said you hated Halo. No. How Wait. About a hint on gliding? You bet. For the longest glide, press the jump button at the top of your jump, and try pressing the action button to drop down mid-flight. Okay. You'll probably break your neck and not be able to feel anything for the rest well, of your life. Oh no well. Do that. Uh, probably over there. Okay. Um, no, I, I don't hate Halo. I thought, wow, because I remember when we first started doing this show, I remember I was like, huh, should we try Halo at any point? And you were like, no. Oh, yeah, probably at the time I was just like, we don't need to play some hardcore shooter game, but we got um, it. that game does have co-op. Could be kind of fun. Okay. Co-op that game. Yeah, the, the, the original first Halo? Any of them. 
Mm, okay. If we played original first Halo, I'd probably like to play the remastered. Version. Yeah, no, totally. So everything just looks the fucking same. Oh, there's the bastard oh, that stole these? the egg. Oh. Come here, boy. Uh, I'm trying to cut him off. Eh. I ate Taco Bell for breakfast and lunch today. Yeah, baby. We Sorry if there's a trail of blood coming out of my asshole. <laughs> Somebody had to make that joke. Dude, did I ever tell the story of too much hot sauce? Mm, maybe. Uh, Let's in, hear it. In drinking. This one time back at university, uh, I, like, it was a school night, and mm. I had a few drinks, and, like, to the point where, you know, maybe my inhibitions were a little bit lowered. <laughs> and I was just like, eh. So I was making a quesadilla, and I was like, hmm. I kind of want to spice this up. I had some super hot hot sauce. Normally, I'd put maybe like one or two drops, and that would be hot, right? That's mm -hmm. pretty spicy. This was not just like your normal Tabasco sauce or some shit. Because um, I really like hot sauce. So I was like, all right, fuck it. And so I go over, make my quesadilla, take this thing out, and then just blast my quesadilla with hot sauce. Like, oh, no. Cover the whole thing. I'm not talking like five drops. I'm talking like... I don't know, 30 drops, not 20 drops, like a lot, right? Uh huh. And I, I start eating it, and it's really good because I like spicy food. And I was just like, ugh. But it was like also <laughs> my mouth was salivating because it was so hot with shit in my. It was like drooling while I was eating it. And I was like, <gasps> like it was too hot for me, right? <laughs> yeah. And uh, so I, I stopped eating it halfway through because Jen came downstairs and she's like, "Are you eating this shit?" And she like takes it and throws it away. It's like, what are you doing? And I was like, I don't know. It's really good, but way too hot. <laughs> the next day, I wake up and just immediately have to run to the fucking bathroom and I just start like fucking lava shits. Like oh, somebody no. just turned up a furnace on my butthole and it's like nasty fucking mudslide mixed with Tabasco sauce. Just like, like hot sauce coming out my ass. Mm, Awful. Yummy. And, uh,. Yeah, so fucking, I I made it to class. Uh, I was just like clenching my ass the whole walk to campus. Like, <laughs> uh, I barely made it and just had to leave lecture like I don't know four times an hour. To oh like no! Re fucking furnace my butthole. Ah. So uh. You poor man. Uh, I did it to myself. <laughs> I deserve it. Well, uh, what's the moral of the story? Uh, check yourself before you wreck yourself, son. Okay, then. Yeah. <laughs> Man, all that, all that was in that chest was just some gems. That's <laughs> it. I like yeah. collecting gems. Yeah, gems are cool, but... I don't think we're going to collect them all. Yeah, let's... No. <laughs> do, you think, do you think we'll get all the dragons? Maybe. Yeah, it's probably not too hard. Yeah, depending how hard it is, I'll say. Yeah, yeah. Okay. More norks. So we went there. Is that what they're called, norks? I don't know. Hmm. It's funny, Nasty Nork, the villain of this game, he's actually we in... We went in here, right? E yes. That's... Oh, yeah, we went to the... What's That's it called? That's the one that we missed. We, uh... Nasty Nork, he's in Spyro a Hero's Tale. That's, like, the fifth main Spyro game. Spyro 4. Have you heard of Spyro 4? Yeah, maybe. That's the one on GameCube? Yeah, it's called Spyro, uh... Your, uh... Enter the Dragon? Enter the... Yeah, Enter the Dragonfly. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that one. People hate that game. Yeah, you said that. Uh, um, like, it's so glitchy. And I never played it. And... I always wanted it, but... Yeah. I remember looking, like, so, okay, back in the day, hey, kids, before you had, like, fucking Amazon mm -hmm. and shit like that, and you actually had to go to the store to buy things, like, you could probably buy some things online back, you know, like, late 90s, but that wasn't common practice. No, no. Um, for Christmas time... Uh, I would get like magazine or like uh, catalogs from like toy stores and shit, uh -huh. like, Toys R Us and like Ga GameStop and stuff, and I'd like circle the stuff I wanted for Christmas. Yeah, yeah, I would remember. Would you do something that. like that? Uh, my mom would get catalogs and be like, "Hey James, would you be what? interested in this?" Yep. I'm exactly. just I'm just checking for Santa Claus. I'm yep. Like, oh, thank. You. Then she'd call Santa Claus with her phone and tell him. <laughs> that's sick. I know, that's right? Some, that's some dedication. O only this, only special kids like me uh, yeah. had parents who did that. Anyways, but I digress. Uh, yeah. So fucking. Um, I remember looking through. I'm pretty sure it was a Toys R Us catalog and circling this game. I don't think I got it because I made it like I would rank things like I would like this, but I would like this more. Oh, 
you know? Mm hmm yeah. Uh, and so this wasn't ever one of my top games, but I remember thinking about this game and, like, thinking how fun it would be to play. Mm. And I just never played it. Uh, the, the fourth game. The fourth. Oh, Enter the Dragon's Life. Yeah, so that would have been, like, 2004? So, some, 2002-ish, maybe? Like 10? I, I remember, uh, one of the things in the game, you get, you got Bubble Breath. Yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's you. I wasn't sure if you'd escape those annoying little creatures. Of course they wouldn't bother me, but here's a hint. Their metal armor is fireproof, but a charge attack will take care of them. Oh. Thank okay. you, sir. Thanks, bud. Dude, I feel like those windows look like the ones from Doctor Strange's lair. <laughs> Doctor Strange? I never saw that movie. I think, I think that's actually one of the Marvel movies you'd enjoy. Yeah. The visuals are super cool. It's incredibly trippy. I like the Spider-Man movie we watched. Oh, yeah, Homecoming. Yeah, you saw that. Yep, we saw that. Yeah, we saw that together. You liked it? Yep, it's good. Yeah, I'm glad you like that. That's cool. It's uh, it's always... I always feel like, yes, Elliot liked a Marvel movie. <laughs> wow! That's like a victory for you. Uh, uh, a small victory, I mean. Not, not for me, necessarily. Oh, okay. It's just more like, yay, he likes something I like. Oh, uh -oh. fucking Oh, Jesus. What? You got to charge Oh, him. no, I got to shoot him in the butt. Ah, uh, okay. He's too heavy for me to charge. Oh, it's just like the Unga Bungas from Banjo-Tooie. Remember, you got to shoot him, blow their butts off. Nope. The caveman who's like, you got to oh, yeah. send the clockwork Kazooie eggs at their butthole. Uh-oh. Uh, ah! Oh, my. Bastard. You got to charge him. There no? you go. Ah, okay. Uh, you just have to time it right. Yeah, wow. Yeah, I know I've, I've already said it, but yeah, these visuals are very nice. Yeah, I like it. Oswin. Yeah, Aladdin. how about I beat this level and then you can take a turn. Okay. Sound good? When you want to zoom in and look around. Oh, you're yeah, I'll whole triangle. Me. Cool. Uh, yeah, so, fuck. You know what movie I saw? Uh, uh what? Like a week ago or something? That was fan-fucking-tastic. What? Uh, Bad Times at the El Royale. Oh, I've heard of that movie. What's uh? Oh my god, dude! It's not doing that well in the box office. It no. Made... And it is the best movie I've seen in years, by far. Bad times at the El Royale. I feel like okay. So one of my coworkers said that she thought it was being advertised a crazy amount, and I was like, I never even saw a single ad for it. Like, I didn't know it was being uh, advertised at all. I feel like the it has the opposite problem. Like, it's not being advertised nearly enough. Oh man. It that's... reminds me of like a Quentin Tarantino style film. The director. I forget their name, but they did such a fucking good job, and all of the actors did such a good job, and... Dude, the movie is just, like, straight fire. Bad times at the El Royale. Oh, Wreck-It Ralph 2 comes out, uh... In oh, a, you know in what? a few days. You and, I, you and I gotta see that next week. Yes. Um, oh, you know what else I wanted to see this week or next week? Yeah. Uh, fucking that new Harry Potter-style movie. Oh, The Crimes of Grindelwald? Yes. Yeah, that's that has a 40% on Rotten Tomatoes. That's pretty bad, right? Pretty bad. Fuck. Yeah, that's a shame. Whatever, fuck it, I'll go see it. That's like the first rotten th Harry Potter movie. I think I will make an exception to go see that, honestly. Like, I just like Harry Potter so much. Yeah, yeah. It's like, fuck it. Yeah, it, it, it's probably something that the hardcore fans like the most. Mm -hmm. um, Bad Times at the El Royale, starring Bad Jeff Bridges. Yep, Jeff Bridges in there. Uh, fuck it. A bunch of famous people. John Hamm, um, the, one of the lead actresses. Uh, dude, there's just so many... This norm with the club cannot be charged, but a quick flame... That should defeat them. Oh, you got all the dragons. Nice. Sweet, man. Sweet. Yeah, okay, Bad Times at El Royale. Smart, stylish, and packed with solid performances, Bad Times at the El Royale delivers pure popcorn fun with the salty tang of social subtext. Okay. It's really good, dude. Rated R for strong violence, language, some drug content, and brief nudity. Bow, bow, bow. I don't even remember any nudity. If it's if it's Jeff Bridges being nude, uh, I will especially enjoy that. And John, <laughs> Hamp. I mean, oh yeah, Dakota Johnson, Cynthia Erivo, sure. I I, uh, I I don't really care if Jeff Bridges is naked though. <clears throat> Let me see that in Jeff Bridges sausage. Cynthia Evo, that must be the actress who's really good. You okay. should search up Cynthia Evo. Cynthia Evo. I'd recognize your face. Okay, Cynthia Erivo. Oh, Erivo. Erivo, yeah, that's her name. Okay. I don't know, dude. Just. The Oh, fuck, it was amazing. Okay. Go it, see that fucking movie. Was it like a, like, was the story, like, very non-traditional? Was it very unique? Um, it was pretty unique, but it was also kind of, I don't know, it was interesting. Like I said, it was like a Tarantino film in the sense that they, uh, they move, here, you can have the controller. Uh, yes, her. 
Cynthia Erivo. Yeah. Put her on screen, James. Baller. Also, next time on Royal Goobs, James talks about the new Grinch movie and how much yeah. he didn't like it. Bye! Bye.